Welcome to Saivan, a specific database related to Scopus. By the way, a unique account is necessary to use both. So, why is it useful to search in Saivan? First, to look at all the scientific production in the world. And, in the second place, to see the current and potential collaborations and to draw up some scientific strategies. This is the homepage. I will show you some useful tools. First, let's search in Overview. Thanks to this tool, you can see the origin and evolution of scientific publication by research area and institutions. Some scientific domains are pre-recorded in Saivan, but you can also check a specific one, like chemical health and safety. This is a summary. You can filter by your range and see the scholarly output in the worldwide. You can also see the citation counts in the worldwide and the publications by subject area. So, in this research area, you can see the part of chemistry, of engineering, of medicine, for instance. And lastly, you can see the main authors in this subject area and the main institutions. So now let's see the benchmarking tool. Thanks to this tool, you can find out some details about institutions and their publications. Then you can draft comparison to publication between laboratories and establishments. You just have to choose some institutions and group. Some of them are pre-recorded, but you can also add new. If you choose to compare Ecole Polytechnique with California Institute of Technology, for instance, you can see this chart and this line graph. You can also filter by your range and show the specific subject area to compare the two entities. So now I will talk about collaboration. So thanks to this tool, you can see the current and potential collaboration of an entity with the rest of the world. So if you choose to see the collaboration of California Institute of Technology, you can see this map and check all the current collaboration. So in Europe, you can see this, that this university is collaborating with all these other institutions and all these co-authors. You can see also this number in North America, in South America, and the rest of the world. You can also have all these results in a tab. And lastly, I will show you another tool, Trends. Thanks to this tool, you can find out some topics of prominence. So some topics are pre-recorded, but you can also add a new topic. If you choose, for instance, to see and to have more information about this topic, energy harvesting, you can have many details and many results. So you can filter again by branch dates. So in the summary, you have many data, like overall research performance, topic cluster character. So you can see there are many words, uh, the main words that are um, related to this topic. So if you, if you choose to click in one word, you have other uh, data and um, details about it. So you can filter by your, your range, you can see the result by chart, for instance, and you can see the top contributors, so the entities that are publishing in this specific topic. 
you can also see the countries and regions and authors that are publishing in this topic. So Saival is a very complex tool. That's why I recommend you to use this tool help to guide you through your search in Saival.